going to take a deep dive into Wally here. Uh, so let me give you the short version of it. I'm going to have you watch Wally. While you're watching Wally, I'm going to want you to keep track of what you think. What do you think some of the big ideas in the movie are, and then plan to come back using the shared version of the movie and pause it, take screenshots, and put those screenshots in here. I'm also going to want you to save those screenshots because you may want to use them. Uh, because instead of writing your assignment, perhaps you'd like to make a video like the one I'm making right now. Um, and you could use the pictures that you took screenshots of. I can also show you individually if you'd like to uh, upload the movie, you might be able to cut that up and use clips, but that is more advanced. So see me if that's something you'd like to do. So let me uh, give you some of the details here. Uh, I know you can read this, but um, you're going to watch the moving class. You're going to have this open or you'll be watching it on your own, typing in this document, going back and forth between the tabs. The theme is kind of a big idea in a story. All right. Uh, and what I'd like you to find is more than one. And it doesn't have to be the most important ones. I think you'll find obvious ones like the earth being trashed, which, you know, that's a free one, but you'd probably figure that one out as well. But maybe you'd find more obscure ones. Maybe you'd find things like love or friendship or something like that, because the movie has something to say about quite a bit, actually, because it is a Pixar movie and it's uh, wide, uh, wide ranging. Um, and then I want you to be thinking about what are some symbols like if you have a theme like the earth being trashed, what is something that symbolizes it? Perhaps it would be the plant. Or if you did friendship, perhaps it would be a character that you think symbolizes it. Here's the thing about this that maybe frustrates people, but is also what I think is kind of great. Um, it's not that you can't be wrong, but you can prove your point. Um, as long as you can prove your point, you're not exactly wrong. So if you said the refrigerator is a symbol of all that's wrong with the earth on the planet, you could probably make a case about that. If you said the captain is, Otto is, whatever, you could probably make that case, okay? So um, don't overthink it too much. This is the first assignment. Uh, although at the same time, uh, this assignment is all about overthinking Wally because uh, it's kind of meant for enjoyment. But um, all right, so you're gonna fill out the grid. You're gonna use what you put in the grid to be able to pick uh, a couple of these, uh, I think I'm asking you to do two of them and to explain them to me, all right? So uh, pick the most promising theme and type it out. Three to five sentences, that's a paragraph. You can go way more than that. Like if you're looking for a four, you're gonna have a lot more to say. If you're making a video, it probably shouldn't be more than like two to three minutes of you talking. And that time is even kind of arbitrary as well, all right? Um, let's see here. So I, what I have for you is uh, the, the first sentence of this or the first thing that you say in your video should be a thematic statement. You don't need to worry about what that is exactly. It should be your main point. So some examples I gave you like, the creators of Forrest Gump believe that uh, Forrest represents the popular opinions of American history through Forrest's experiences. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, that doesn't make as much sense. However, uh, the movie Forrest Gump, we kind of see history, Vietnam War, all kinds of different uh, um, things going on in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and even the early, early 90s, maybe. Uh, we see this through somebody who's looking back, uh, the, the filmmakers are using Forrest to kind of show the popular opinions. A bad um, uh, thematic statement would be, Forrest Gump is a movie about the Vietnam War. Because it includes the Vietnam War, but you can't say that whole movie is about the Vietnam War, all right? So examples from the film to prove what you're talking about. Um, there should be some sort of supporting detail that gets into it. One thing that I'll talk about in class a little bit is that Wally doesn't matter so much. I want you to go beyond Wally and the fact that his life is in danger, if you want to call it a life. I know he's an AI and everything, but um, you know his story is what we're looking at. So remember, uh, science fiction is about what it means to be human and what it means to you know, have life and have purpose in your life, that kind of thing. It's not about what happens to some robot in a movie, which I know sounds really crass because Wally's awesome, but they, we are trying to look beyond that because Wally's also not real. So what is his story? Try to avoid, I think, I feel, I believe. I had a philosophy professor that said, if I see any of those in your paper, I'm not going to read it anymore. And he had more things to say about it that were not too kind, but uh, he was making his point. Um, if you say, I think, you're already kind of negating what you're about to prove. Prove things to me. Uh, I've seen the movie. If you're showing me things and I agree with it, that's one thing. But if you show me things that I agree with because you've proved it, that's another. It's hard to refute you and say you're wrong or I disagree with you because you haven't proved it. So for any uh, theme that you're trying to prove, 
shoot for at least three uh, examples from the movie that prove what you're talking about. If you can't do that, maybe you shouldn't be doing that theme. When you're done, you're gonna turn it in. In the top right-hand corner, there should be a turn in button. The other thing you should be doing is if you make a video, which you don't have to do, but if you're comfortable doing that, um, you should make a video in which you uh, uh, post the link in here and make sure when you do that, you make it public so that I can see it. And if you're making a video, since I haven't taught you how to do that, if you know how to do it, I expect that you're going to put pictures or GIFs or um, uh, video clips in there if you know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, then probably don't do the video option because later in the semester, I will uh, show you how to do that. I didn't want to do too many things at once right here. I didn't want to show you how to make a video and to do the thematic uh, study. So let's just do one of those unless you feel comfortable doing a video. I, I would prefer that your video is not just you talking into the screen. Uh, if you're making a video, I want pictures and I want uh, perhaps captions and things like that. All right. So how am I going to grade this? I'm going to grade you on three different standards. Textual evidence. Did you prove what you're talking about? Did you explain yourself? Um, capitalization, spelling and punctuation. If you do a video, then I'm not going to grade you on that, but I am going to grade you uh, maybe uh, more along the lines of like your video editing, but I will probably amend this to add a standard uh, which isn't in the, the uh, picture right now, but I will add that so that if you do a video, I'll grade you on video stuff. If you do writing, I'll grade you on writing stuff. And then the practice. Did you do the, the, um, the list? Uh, and don't worry about it being checked off in class because we're only meeting two days a week and maybe you're virtual. So um, I'm just going to see that it is done and that it is included. Uh, I will say this though, going back to this part up here, um, if, you are, if you know you're going to make the video, then I'm not going to require that you put the pictures in this grid here. I would like you still to write down seven of your themes and then choose to write about one of them. Um, that would be fine, but I'm not gonna ask you to do uh, extra busy work if you know you're gonna be making a video, okay? So uh, email me with any questions or speak up in class. And um, I look forward to this. So this should be completed. Uh, watch for due dates in Google Classroom. But uh, I believe we are going to start watching this Thursday and Friday. And then those of you in the B classes will be finishing it on your own and uh, completing uh, Wally, -E or at least getting a real good start on it before we meet again next Thursday. Those of you in the A classes, we will be starting this on Monday and Tuesday, and you'll be completing it on your own and should be complete or it should have a really good start uh, before we meet again on next Monday. I know it's confusing, but I will try to clarify that in the comments section uh, of Google Classroom. All right, see you in class.